Greetings, my name is Jace Hargis, and I'm the director for the Center for Engaged Teaching at the University of California, San Diego. Today, I would like to share a brief preface before joining our weekly SOTL podcast. We are delighted to share our 30th podcast and our 57th blog. Thank you for continuing to join us. Since we are at the end of the calendar year, we thought we would share a list of the 17 SOTL articles compiled by the Faculty Focus Higher Education Teaching Strategies Journal. Our exemplary team will chat about two articles in particular. Enjoy. Hello, my name is Sheena Ganbari, and I'm the Associate Director of the Center for Engaged Teaching at UC San Diego. I'd like to thank you for joining us for another podcast of our weekly Scholarship of Teaching and Learning article. Today, I welcome my colleague, Paul Hedgepiris, our Instructional Designer at the Center. Hello, Sheena. Excited to have a chat with you today about a couple of articles that were part of Faculty Focus, 17 Most Popular Teaching and Learning Articles in 2017. The two articles we will discuss today include a challenge to current grading practices by Weimer and towards a positive view by Kennett and Myatt. Sounds great. A challenge to current grading practices details how scholar Dr. Roy Sadler challenges conventional thinking on current practices surrounding grading. Sadler advocates that students should be much more involved in assessing their own work and defending the judgments they make. He's also a proponent of creating authentic assessment opportunities that would allow students to use technology and tools of production currently used in most workplaces. Yes, yeah, very interesting. Um, now, switching gears slightly here, uh, for a moment, we want to discuss the second article, which is Towards a Positive View. The authors note the power of positive psychology concepts such as mindfulness, positive emotions, gratitude, and growth mindsets in potentially improving the college classroom by enhancing the academic, social, and emotional functions of the stressed out college students. The findings show that teaching some of these social and emotional skills can enhance the teaching and learning experience for both student and instructor. Agreed. And in fact, the nice thing about both articles is that they offer some ideas for changing up your classroom practice. For example, when thinking about your current grading practice, one could create an environment that students can learn from from failed events, allow opportunities for false starts and bumbling attempts, and finally create final assessments that allow students to be tested in more authentic ways. Sheena, thanks for that. And also, interestingly enough, um, some suggestions from Kenneth and Meyer also include to develop a positive syllabus or a course outline, focus on student strengths, teach students about mindfulness, build intrinsic motivation, encourage a growth mindset, and also practice gratitude. Thank you. And that's the end of another weekly podcast. Please feel free to browse the other 15 articles on this list at your leisure. Thank you, Paul, for taking the time to share your thoughts. We look forward to another chat when we return in early January. Thank you, Sheena.